It's cold. Yeah, it's cold. <sighs> I'm trying to get woke up this morning. I'm finally coming alive. I had a couple chicken biscuits from Weigel's, a drink of energy drink. I'm, I'm starting to feel it. I'm out here with Alex and we're gonna try to do some lake fishing and uh, catch whatever we can catch. Also, first time on his boat and it's very nice. So uh, we'll see how the, how the world treats us today, but the water is really cold. The temperature is pretty cold, but the sun's out. That's giving us, giving us a little hope. Yeah. Oh, there he is. What are you about this God, oh, buddy, you're so cold. <laughs> Golly, John, feel how cold that fish is, dude. Oh, man. I mean, how's like, he moving? Lord, yeah. And it's a great idea, and it like works. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> You said there was going to be a fish here. Fish. Okay. He tugged on that thing. Yeah, boy. You got a large mouth. Yeah, nice and cold. But he, he thumped it. He goes, thump, thump. <laughs> All righty. I can only stand so long. Bomb, bomb. <laughs> bomb, bomb. <laughs> but you got to look at the water temperature. I think way too many people fish the weather conditions and not the water conditions. And that's th one thing to keep in mind this time of year. You guys can see where we're fishing at right now. We got about 43.7, so almost 44 degrees. There we go. John's got a four hooked up here. And so you have to fish. For the weather conditions. John, is that a good one, buddy? Hey, solid. Yeah, good one, man. Good little large man. Yeah. Good work, bud. Yes, sir. Heck yeah, man. It's the biggest one of the day. Yeah, the longest one of the day. Good work, buddy. Heck yeah, man. And so, like me and John are doing, you have to fish the water conditions and not the weather conditions. All right, Alex is over doing some explaining in his video. Finally got me one. He's probably about 14, 15 inch, but he was actually closer up on the bank than I thought. So, get back in there. It, that's a fun job when you like get good at it. I guess like a mechanic, but like I was got I got really good at like solving air conditioning and like fixing what those problems are and like solving the problems, everything that has to do with it. I'm terrible at stuff like Oh no, no way. I didn't even think that was a fish again. <laughs> Dude, good my instincts just were to just set the hook and I had no idea. Work, Dude, man. they are biting soft. Dude, you can't even feel it. Like it's I'm gonna start just setting the hook on everything, I, I think now. Hey man, there's another fish. At least we're getting a few of them in here. A little chunk natty. Yeah. I mean, they are built good. Yep. Holy cow. Like that. Dude, that, that was that was crazy because I I, <laughs> barely, like, you I picked up and so, something in me just said set the hook and I barely set the hook and I'm like, oh, it is a fish. But yeah, they don't want to put out too much energy. That's the thing. We probably have to drag these lures right in front of their face. Yeah, like I think. I and they're like, okay, I'll grab it. I think we're literally putting this thing right on their nose and they're just Yeah. I feel solid. Uh, maybe not too big. It's about like the last one. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Get him in here, bud. Yes, sir. Yeah. He's got. I think a little bit bigger than the last one. Yeah. Look how long he is. Little, little nasty things all over him. Good job, bud. Oh, you got that? Yeah, I got the nastiness. I think it's that largemouth bass disease. Yeah. A few of them in here have it. Oh, we just we just pulled over to another uh, spot and actually that, that was first cast. Yeah, it was first cast. I went over there. He was right off that bushes over there. Uh, up kind of shallow though. Here we go. He was swimming off with it. Never felt it, but he, my line was. I saw my line move. 
Well, it's 2.30. We've been out here for a few hours. I guess just over four, about four hours now, something like that. And I finally caught four fish, so it's way better than yesterday. So I'm gonna give you a little recap of yesterday, we and Alex and Josh kayak 10 miles of a river. You'd think we caught off kinds of fish, right? Well, here it is. I'll show you that real quick. Okay, out here on a new river in the middle of winter. 20, it was 30 degrees when we got in. It was like 20 degrees this morning. I'm up here in Knoxville, fishing with Alex and Josh. And um, I said the goal I had this year was to fish more rivers in the winter time, where usually I don't fish them at all. Definitely gotta be careful. We got some good flow going on, but it's a big river too. Um, some big fish in it and they, they will hit in the winter time. So that's something I'm trying. It's the last week of the year of 2022. I'd love to get a big small mouth in, so that's kind of the goal here. Oh, I would get a fish right here in this rapid. Oh, came off. Finally got a bite. I mean, it's right in this strong current. I was just getting ready to go down these rapids. I get a bite. Oh, about lost the rod. There's my, there we go. Yeah, it's solid too. I was coming to ask you if you caught anything. It's the first one. Good one. Yeah! Woo! I got a fish. <laughs> Dude, I was literally coming over. Yeah. Have you caught anything yet? <laughs> I was gonna talk to you because I hadn't caught anything. I had one get off earlier on a crankbait. I had one get off right back there, but. All right, I'm gonna kind of just float this current right here real quick. And finally, there we go, got a smolly. Now he's pound and a half, probably 14 inch thick guy there. Trying to get close to Nah, that's all right, I'll throw it back in. Got a, I've, I've used spinnerbait, crankbait, and then I haven't used a yum dinger that much, but that's what I got my first fish on. <laughs> threw, it, threw it in a little calm pocket and he picked it up. Beautiful little smolly. All right, let's get back. Yeah, we're going places. Holy cow, now that's a cave. Yeah, that's a big one right there. I'm gonna have to get out. I'm getting out in that one. I'm gonna go in that one. I gotta walk and look in this cave. What's in there? Man, this thing's huge. Big old opening there. Holy cow. That's wild. It is crazy. Look at these. Oh my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's kind of creepy. Oh, that just goes through. Alex! <laughs> Get out. Oh, man, that goes way up in there. Yeah, I don't really want to crawl way up in there. <laughs> Oh, uh, as far as I'm going to go, <laughs> I think that's crazy. It's definitely a huge opening here. Yeah. How many people slept right here? Not just from people camping out, but like maybe lived in here at some time. Wow. Let's see if I can keep my kayak straight. 27. Ah! 26 volts. How much is it pulling? 26. Now, uh, new canoe of mine, put me a little tilt screw, trolling motor on the back of it. Whew. I think that's going to do it for today. day. Oh, dude! Oh man, I got thumped that time. He was just sitting there. I was looking at your. I was looking over at yours. Something just thumped mine. Oh, he came out at it. Oh, <laughs> that little that little went flying by my head. That took John out with the with the net head. I think it just, I can see both sides. Oh, what a fish. I think you got it, buddy. No. Oh, I wanted to make sure on that one. <laughs> I pulled in for like three seconds. <laughs> there we go. Another one? <laughs> I've, been, I've, been, I've been fooled so many times. I don't know if they're fish messing with me or, uh, man, it's cold. <laughs> it's it's so freezing. Cold, aren't they? It's crazy, man. I mean, these fish are freezing, poor thing. Uh, well, there's another one there. Oh, okay, go, go, get back in there. <laughs> He wanted out. Freezing. Yeah. Like the yeah. Lake is I know. That's, degrees above freezing. They don't even know what to do. I'm surprised we've caught this many. I downsized. Uh, I went in a little heavier jig head, 3 16 weedless, and I cut my yum dinger down just because they're biting it so soft. And I feel like I've had two, three bites where they've barely grabbed it. So that's where I went. Caught another one there. Alex has had several. Like they're barely grabbing it and they're coming off. But I wanted to really make sure when I catch one, I want to make sure he's on there. But yeah, pretty pretty cool, interesting day. Sixty one degrees. Oh my! That's what it says. No way, sixty. It don't it don't feel like sixty one after that drive, but maybe if you're staying in the sun. No, it can't be sixty one. I mean, my watch says it's sixty one. How is it? Well. I'm 16 and a half acres behind my house, and like, if I can't go up there and just sit down and kill one, I ain't gonna go work for it. Oh, you got that up there? That's cool. Yeah, that's how much acreage I got. 16 and a half. All right, let's keep moving. Well, wait a minute. Let me you get this it? fish in. We're fishing still. I'm wanting to move. Here he is. Look at, here he comes. <laughs> this guy, he wants to go. Boat flip him to get, me. Get him. Woo. Here. There you go, guys. <laughs> One John got him one more. There you go, buddy. I think he hit that thing twice. Did he? <laughs> he was like hitting it. I'm like, is that a fish? I wanted to make sure again. He's on. He's on right on another log. Well, there we go, guys. I got a few of them in here. Good job, bud. Right another one on the log. On a little cut down yumdinger. Thank you, fish. Oh. That's a big one. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, yeah. yeah. There we go. There you go, man. You just got to work for them, and eventually it'll pay off. Well, guys, this winter fishing is uh, is different for sure. So yesterday on the river, we floated. I caught one fish. I think Alex had four or five, and Josh, I think, had one or two. Um, was crazy. The water temperature. What was the water temperature there? Like 40-something? 44. 44 degrees. It's 42 degrees out here most of the day out in the lake, and these fish, 
are definitely not moving fast. This is some of the lazy or the slowest bites I've probably ever had. Mo more than half the fish we caught, we didn't even know we're on until we we're, like, we're just like picking it up and like something's like, what's going on? So I think there were so many that were biting that we were just pulling out of their mouth because we we're picking up so slow. It was a fun day though. I'm glad we got to get out here and catch some fish and got to get out here with my buddy Alex. He gets me excited about fishing. We got, we, we, we talked last night about all the things we're gonna do this summer. Oh, I'm jacked. But we'll, I'm sure we'll be fishing a lot throughout the rest of the winter, summer and everything. Just, um, and he, you know, he, do, he does all the kayak tournaments. So if you don't know who this is, obviously Alex Red Fishing. He's got podcasts. He's a man of many talents. He's, I got, a lot. he's got a lot going on. I so he, a lot. he also teaches me. I, I learn every time I go out and fish with him and you can learn from watching this channel. So thanks for watching. It's gonna wrap it up. A couple of cold days out here, grinding away just to get a few fish.